following military installations are no longer functional. Barstow, Fort Drum, Fort Mason, McClellan, Nellis, Norfolk, New London, and Wright-Patterson. These bases are confirmed. Jesus. With predicted casualties of 90 to 100. There are easier ways to give up smoking, I'm told. I came here to ask for your help. We have several situations that require a senior agent, but with De Silva already in the field and me tied to a desk and Nils... Well, you're the only one I can trust with this. Just go to Ops and access the map. Do I have a choice? Not really. Glad to help out. So let me get this straight. A nuclear launch code was issued to a secret facility located here. But the bomb never launched, thankfully. And we're here to find out what went wrong. Or what went right. Nothing's what it seems anymore. Come on back, gentlemen. Already here. Get ready. They're near. <laughs> Over there. Moving to position. That one there. They won't know what hit him. Contact! Cover there! Copy! On my way! Hit it hard! We've got that spot locked down! Oh, hey. the shot. These ones are shielded! Almost got it down! Carter, look out! They're sending reinforcements! They're coming from both sides! on that target. Firing on your target. Target down. Finish it off. Take a name. Area secure. 
Blackwater. The scientists back at base radioed in with a quick nuclear mi- Missiles 101 lesson. They say that launching a nuke is a three-step process. Provide fuel, release fail-safe clamps, and specify target. It's all computer controlled. If any step fails, the launch is aborted. Fuel, release clamps, target. Got it. Any intel on the location of the computers? The computer terminals must be in the barns. They're the only structures that look large enough for that sort of infrastructure. Copy that. Let's stay together here. Yeah. Your tax dollars at work. What? Oh, no, no, no. It's already fueled up. Barnes, I got a set of launch coordinates here. 38 degrees, 53 minutes north, and 77 degrees, 2 minutes west. Oh my god. That's Washington, D.C. Then we better find that launch computer fast. This thing is ready to go. Back on you, Commander! Carter, I know it's against protocol, but we have a chance to save some lives. We should warn people about this. And tell them what? They're about to get nuked by spacemen? They'd never believe us, would they? No, which is why we need to resolve this here and now. Hard. Cover there. Repositioning. Attack. Taking the shot. Target down. I'm ready. Man, you're wounded. Walk it off. Lifting. Focus on that one. Firing on your target. Do it, shield. Let's hit it. Get behind that. Attack. Firing on your target. Move it. I'm in position. That's a kill. <laughs> Watch it. Muton. Get down. Moving. <laughs> Focus on that one. Targeting now! Cover there! Going now! Attack! They're moving in! Get behind cover! On the move! I'm ready! Smith, are you okay? That's the kill! They're all dead, let's get moving! Regroup, fellas. On my way back. Let's stay together here. Yes, Commander. Launch control should be just inside that barn.
Come on back, gentlemen. Already here. Through here. Let's go. Both human. They shot each other. One of them still got his launch key. Then we know what the argument was over. Kicker is they were both right. This doesn't make sense, Barnes. The keys weren't turned simultaneously. The missile should already be locked down. <sighs> the Outsiders must have bypassed the control somehow. And this nuke is getting launched whether we like it or not. We've got to get to the targeting computer. Quiet, just ahead. Goddamn! Hit it hard! Get down! Move it! Take it down! Take an A! Taking the shot! That's your target. Copy. Targeting. Take cover! Sniper! They're shielded! Keep going! We're getting through! Behind that! Moving! Attack! This one's mine! Going now! Focus on that target! Targeting! <clears throat> Red, get down! I'm ready! All targets down. Let's stay together. Create a projection duplicate of the recon agent, drawing fire and distracting enemies. Too much damage will destroy the projection. On my way back. Regroup, fellas. Cover! Attack! Taking it down! Copy! On my way! On my way! Hit it hard! Focus on that target. It's mine. That's your target. Got it.
Hit it hard! Take it down! On back, gentlemen. I'm here now. Yes, Commander. Okay. The eggheads on our side say that the targeting system is so simple. A child could retarget a nuke. Or an alien. Put a lid on it. Barnes, give me some safe coordinates to send this nuke. I read you. Uh, try 11 degrees, 35 minutes north, and 165 degrees, 23 minutes east. Confirming. 11 degrees, 35 minutes north, 165 degrees, 23 minutes east. Barnes. What the hell did I just nuke? Bikini Atoll. Nuclear test site. Good work, Barnes. Let's head home. Things turned out as well as they did with Dr. Weir's rescue. I'll overlook it this time. I understand the situation is getting to you. 
Weaver tell you that? Or you just figured it out on your own? I need to know I can trust you, Carter. I took a big risk including you in this operation. And I'm about to take another. In case you forgot, I was the one who caught the infiltrator. I'm well aware. And you're going to help us interrogate the captain. But we absolutely cannot afford another breach. Especially not now. We can't afford to let any of our information become public. What do you have planned? A way to strike back. To win the war. You saw what they did to Groom Range, Falk. We barely got out alive. How do you expect to strike back against something like that? With this. We just need the right target. We're hoping the Infiltrator can help us there. What do we know about the Infiltrator? We've been running a barrage of tests on it. Preliminary interrogation, medical checks. The boys in the lab even took a look at the devices implanted in him. Find anything useful? We don't even know his name. Or if his kind even have names. But we have reason to believe he'll be more responsive now. What happened? Lock him in solitary for a couple weeks? You might be closer than you think. In a recent examination, our surgeons removed this from his head. We think it's some kind of communication device. He was bugged? We're not sure. Weir thinks it was his connection to Mosaic. That's their communication network. According to Dr. Weir, yes. Whatever it is, ever since we removed this thing, the infiltrator's been less aggressive, more morose. Interesting. How do we know we can take them out in one strike? Weir's been studying their transmissions, and he believes they're coming from a single source. That's this mosaic thing they talk about? Yes. The doctor says his measurements prove that it's some sort of central command, possibly even a single being. And if our tests are correct, it is indeed more than just some sort of radio network. How so? After studying the infiltrator's implants and physiology, we believe it connects directly to the minds of the Outsiders. So if we take out Mosaic's core, we shut down every Outsider on this planet? That's the idea. But we need to know more. That's an impressive... flying saucer you've built. Actually, the Air Force was already toying with a prototype like this. Our German associate just made a few modifications including everything we could steal from the Outsiders. How does it handle? When it's finished, it'll be faster and more maneuverable than anything in the skies. Can it get through those Ven gates of theirs? That's what we need you to find out. I'll see what I can get out of the Infiltrator. Good. We've got him in a containment center in the lab, built especially for him. Got his own luxury suite, huh? That ought to soften him up. Don't count on it. How gentle do I need to be? Just be careful. He's the only captive we have. Carter! 
What's this I hear about people sleepwalking through cities? It's some sort of sickness. Just another way those bastards are killing us out there. What, the death rays aren't doing the job fast enough? The infection doesn't seem to do any physical harm, except to their looks. Just traps them in their own head. And that's better than being dead, is it? How are our food and water supplies? We should be able to hold off for another month. Maybe more, with tighter rationing. Tell me more about that friend in the service. Anything like the sleepwalkers? Well, I can't say it was too similar. I mean, poor old Kent didn't have black gunk all over his eyes to start. But the things he saw when we were in the Great War... Terrible things happened during war. Anyway, he never got over the shock. And Myron and I never got over what happened to him. I just hope we can do more for those sleepwalkers. You've known the old man for a while. Has he always been this paranoid? No, not at all. In fact, I remember when he used to be a naive new recruit. What happened to him? Well, it's not hardly my place to tell his life story. But let's just say that sort of attitude doesn't last after the third time a refugee pulls a gun on you. That's enough prying for now. Any time, Carter. We don't have more of them in here. If there was another one, don't you think he would have tried to help his friend bust out? Maybe not. Infiltrator's right inside, Agent Carter. If you need anything, just ask. I see you gave up on the disguise. Done playing dress-up? This one can no longer hide. Those systems were corrupted by your scientists. Yeah. Gloat all you want about your superior technology while we've got you tied to a chair with a rope. You want revenge for your fellow warrior. Go ahead and take it. Nothing you do will stop the Zujari. We're gonna pay a visit to your home, and you're gonna help us get there. A counter-invasion? Ha! The more you resist Mosaic, the more you will bring death to your world. You think you have seen our strength? This is just an expeditionary force preparing the way for our armies. We will destroy you. We'll see about that. It's simple. You will join our empire or you will die. 
For us, there are no other choices. Our white coats say there's been a change in your attitude ever since they yanked this device out of your head. I want to know what the hell it is. It is many things. A shield. A beacon. Our focus. It is mosaic. Without it, we are... I am... alone. Unsure. Impure of thought. What exactly is Mosaic? You would think of it as a broadcast. A network. Each of us are connected to it. It unites us. That's how you receive your orders. Our orders. Our faith. Mosaic delivers truth. Or perhaps what Origin decides is the truth. Why don't you just do yourself a favor? Just talk straight to me. And tell me about this origin. Maybe we can help you. You are more civilized than would be expected for such divided creatures. It is not a weakness. Nothing is as I thought. Nothing is as Origin told us. Listen, I'm fighting for the survival of my entire race here. Give me something to work with, or you'll find out what I'm willing to do for my world. You have already seen what we are willing to do for our own dying world. What Origin has forced us to do for our world. Forced me to do to other worlds. You don't have to let Origin control you. Tell us how to stop him and you can be free. We can destroy Mosaic. You can all be free. Yes, but Mosaic cannot be destroyed. Mosaic is not a single place, not a solid thing. And soon it will consume your people as it has so many. As it did mine. You're wrong. We've traced Mosaic's transmissions to a single location. If we can get there, your people can be free. A myth spread by the few who are deaf to Mosaic. I used to think they were mad, but perhaps... Here's proof. A source for Mosaic's transmissions. If we get there, we can put an end to it. But without Mosaic, without Origin's guidance, my people... We will never find a new world. Your people could come here without conquest. Wouldn't be the first time immigrants came to our shores. We'll help you fight for your freedom. And in return, you can live in the land of the free. William Carter. My thoughts are my own for the first time in my life. If there is a chance that others can know this... freedom, I will tell you what you want to know. To survive the crossing, you will need an instrument that can recalibrate quantum structures. Such a device can be acquired from one of our ships, which you can find only at one of our docking stations near a Vengate. Thank you. Once we've stopped Origin, your people will thank you too. Nice work in there, Carter. I bet the Director will want to tell you that himself. But I cannot see the future. 
I cannot predict the horrors of my fellow men. We can't offer you atonement, Doctor. But we can offer you a chance to use your skills to help people. We demand to have access to the Outsider. We have vital questions that demand answers. Calm yourself, Doctor. The rationality will not help us identify enemy infiltrators. Calm? While you perform tests on men, like Lord. livestock. Lord. These tests serve to protect them, but after all, they are all men. Maybe, but we're still not certain of what side effects. That's brilliant. Oh, I don't know about all that. It's just a minor change. You would have done it yourself. In time. Maybe, but you're the one who did it today. If I'm not careful, you'll be replacing me as head of this project. And take away your prized work? Anyway, what was it you wanted to show me? What? Oh, it's these new transmissions that we've been receiving. Dr. Rossi believes I may be extraterrestrial in origin. Take a look. Extraterrestrial transmissions. You don't say. Think of it. Intelligent life on other worlds. A culture more advanced than ours, reaching across the void to welcome us to the Brotherhood of the Stars. Alan, you're making some rather dangerous assumptions. Oh, I know it could be nothing. Some Soviet trick, perhaps. But think, Lawrence. If it really is from another planet, why, someday, our Vingate project could bridge our world. Yes. Ah, William. Welcome to our newly refitted laboratory. I'm certain that Dr. Veer would love to give you a tour of the facilities. Yeah, Herr Doctor? Yes, of course. I'll just leave Heinrich to his tests. Down here is what we call the workshop. It's where we test the new equipment and applications. It's all quite experimental, so don't use anything here until it's been cleared for the field. Here we go. As you see, we have the automated turret deployed, but it cannot draw a line of sight on any targets. You can lift a target out from behind its cover to get a clear shot. But if you face many targets, it might be a better option to lift your turret instead. Go ahead and try. The engineers are especially proud of the gyroscopic stabilization that makes that possible. It'd be a shame not to put it to use in the field. Is that all? The boys in the lab just wanted to make sure you knew all your options in the field. Never know when it'll come in handy. Huh? How do you do that? 
I'm afraid to ask. Attention all personnel. We have multiple reports coming in of a widespread outsider assault across the Champagne or Mana area. Damage is unknown. Believe yes, I know, clear. but yes, I'm very sure that look, I'll send the next available agent. That's all I can offer. I could really use your help. Have a moment? How is it out there? How bad do you think it is? You've seen my reports from the field. Imagine that everywhere else. Well, that's no good. No, but if it's any consolation, maybe you'll be getting some new tricks to use against the outsiders. I'm listening. Where's the worst of it? We're hearing activity across the country. Any place where there are people to report it. But the report per capita has been spiking in New Mexico. Have we sent anyone to examine it? De Silva took a team, but he hasn't reported back yet. That's all for now. Thank you, sir. And keep up the good work. There are a lot of people out there who need you. I will. Are we under attack? Relax. You can't attend every threat yourself. But in some cases, you can dispatch agents to assist. On these dispatch missions, they will earn valuable experience and may find new equipment or even other experienced agents. However, they won't be available in the field while dispatched, so select your squads wisely.